Hey everybody, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Remember about a year or so ago when I got my big discus tank and I used to share pictures and videos like this one about all my little tiny plants and things like that. Well, as you might know, I'm not a planted tank guy, but it's kind of getting out of control. I'm not entirely sure how to go about this. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you probably know I'm not really a very good aquatic botanist. Um, but I've got a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna go in there and start cutting. I think my general plan is around here. I want to get the plants away from the glass a little. So I'll have a, move them all back a bit. And then I want to kind of cut a section out as well. So I kind of have two distinct sections of the carpeting plant, yeah, which I believe is Junkus Rippins, but again, let me know if you think differently in the comments. I'm sure that was the plant that I bought, but I'm just going to go and get started and see what happens. So. So you've probably got the same problem as me right now. Can't tell if it looks good or not. So, definitely managed to move all the plants away from the front. And I think I've made a dent in towards the middle section there. But until the water clears, I don't really know how, the, how good that's gonna be. Um, but I've got a bucket full of this stuff now. tons of it left in there so I'll let it clear I'll do a water change to get rid of all this malmy rubbish at the bottom uh, change over the filter floss get it running again and hopefully it'll clear pretty quickly and we'll come back and have a look 
that's what I've managed to save. I stuck it in one of the tanks down here at the moment. There's, I think the technical term is a poop ton. Um, so if anybody wants any, get in touch. I'll send you some. And here's the bee puffer. A few people have been asking me how he's getting on. As you can see, he's massive. Still awesome. Um, let's give him a couple of snails. He normally goes for these pretty quick. That's it for now. We'll give you some more later. Bye. And there's greedy guts comes out because they obviously smell some food. Right, back upstairs. There we go, the finished product. I think it looks alright, but more by luck than judgement. What do you think? So I've managed to clear away some sections at the front, kind of I wanted to go for a rounded bit there, further into the back there, but that will do background on this side. So basically we've got some sand, so if I drop food on there, the fish will be able to find it and there shouldn't be any problems. If you go in a bit closer, there's still some algae there I need to tidy up, and there's still some, I need to go around and replant some bits that are sticking out, but I'm fairly pleased in how that's gone. So there you go, all finished, as good as I'm going to get, I'm not an aquascaper by a long stretch, but I think it looks better. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, and as always remember click that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers! Bye!